Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on SOC, SIEM, and SOAR tutorial series. In this video, we shall learn about DevSecOps, and how we can use this concept in our security operations center. Let's get started. DevSecOps is a new wave in the IT industry, as the majority of the companies are involving DevOps in the security system of the business proceedings. The simple premise of DevSecOps is that, everyone in the software development life cycle is responsible for security, in essence bringing operations and development together with security functions. DevSecOps aims to embed security in every part of the development process. It is about trying to automate core security tasks, by embedding security controls and processes early in the DevOps workflow, rather than being at the end. DevOps is a framework that is a collaboration of developers and operation teams, to create a more agile and streamlined deployment structure. DevSecOps is introducing the concept of information security into existing decorum of the DevOps. The main objective here is to develop security as a code environment, that emphasizes on secure development, and speedy working rather than striving hard to concentrate on both the functions. Various components involved in a DevSecOps approach include Analysis of code, where we deliver code in small pieces so the team can quickly identify vulnerabilities. Next is allowing anyone to submit changes, this can increase efficiency and speed. Afterward, see if the change is successful or not. Next is that it helps to monitor compliance. We should be prepared for an audit at all times which means always being in a state of compliance. It helps us investigate threats. Helps identify possible threats each time the team updates code, so they can respond quickly. It helps us assess vulnerability, by identifying vulnerabilities with code analysis and ensure the team quickly attends to them. Lastly helps train security. It is done via training software and IT engineers and provides them with instructions for set procedures. Let's understand how DevSecOps is transforming the security operations center. DevSecOps can be administered via a security operations center. Here are some methods by which a SOC can modernize its processes. Develop a distributed SOC with DevOps members. They can assist with incident response as they have an in-depth understanding of IT systems, and can gain knowledge of vulnerabilities and threats from security staff. Next, partner Threat Hunters with DevOps Team. Threat Hunters can communicate directly with development or ops teams to address security gaps at their core, rather than isolating a threat and reporting it to management. Next, we can create superior security centers. The SOC can work with specific development and operation groups to put in place security best practices. Lastly, make the SOC available for advice and guidance. Everyone working with security should be able to easily contact the SOC and liaise with the top security experts of the organization. Well, let's learn some benefits of DevSecOps. It helps with greater speed and agility for security teams helps you respond to change and needs rapidly. Enable better collaboration and communication among teams. Provides more opportunities for automated builds and quality assurance testing. Provides early identification of vulnerabilities in code. Ensures team member assets are freed to work on high-value work. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.